Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying uh, two alcoholic beverages for you. Uh, this is the Yingling Hershey's Chocolate Porter. And I have the Duchess Chocolate Cherry. Uh, the, uh, these were- Surprise you. It, it might surprise you, but, but I'm gonna shock Kevin too. Um, these were both bought at a place called Good Foods Co-op. The Yingling was $1.99. The Duchess was $6.49. But guess what? That's the normal price of it. I looked it up. I looked it up at Total Wine, and yeah. if you buy a four pack, it's $25. Wow. Yeah, so that's the normal price. It's still crazy. It is a lot, especially a lot. for expensive. what? what is this, 12 ounces or Everybody's something? Up. Yeah, it's, no, it's not even 12. It's 11.2. <laughs> Uh, so you're not even getting well, that no, no, no. So that's the normal It's just expensive. Of. It is expensive. I'm not used to paying that much for anything. No. <laughs> to okay. Drink. So uh, it says Yingling 21 plus to enjoy America's oldest brewery. This is Hershey's Chocolate Porter. Uh, they are made in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, it looks like. That's a 21 ounce bottle. Uh, no. It's 21 to enjoy. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this is a small bottle. This is a 12 ounce okay. bottle. Yeah, this is a little bottle. Uh, so, so much 20. 21. I, sh I should have uh, known better. Government warning. Yeah, because you know how big your yeah, that's things true. of Mountain Dews are. Or root beer. Or root beer, yes. Yeah, that's yes. True. Okay, so I figured we'd pour it out. Very dark. Mm hmm. Well, that was a good pour. Thank you. That has a little head on it, but it did overflow. That's good. There we go. Good okay. You go ahead That's first. Strong. It's strong. <laughs> wow. And. I don't drink a lot of alcohol, so that smells like, wow, is that strong. I'm proud of myself that I now know how to say yingling because I've never seen a commercial for yingling in my life. I don't see commercials for anything anymore, ever. But I watched this guy's YouTube channel, and his favorite brand is his, the Yingling, and he has it all the time. Unless he's saying it wrong. <laughs> unless he's saying it wrong. I don't think he is. No, that, but that seems like that Yingling, be yeah. But this is what he likes, and so it's like, oh, I, it's nice to hear somebody say it because yeah. then you know. Okay. Well, I'll comment just on the smoothness of it. It's a very smooth beer. I mean, it's very smooth. Some beers are like harsh and like burn. That is very smooth. No, and, that's and, very I mean, nice. That's, if I had to drink a beer, I would Yingling. for sure drink yeah. that. Uh, I don't taste chocolate though. He likes, uh, I think he said he keeps like the Oktoberfest. Uh, I'm probably assuming has spices they, and stuff. Though. Yeah, I think I would probably really like that one. Cause like somebody came to his door and he was like, we have this and this and this in there, these different flavors. And I thought I, out of those, which one would I pick? I would pick the Oktoberfest right. one. Um, I do not taste Hershey's chocolate. I mean, whatsoever. I mean, nothing. None of that. <laughs> it's just beer. It just tastes like beer. But it's a very smooth, mm -hmm. awesome beer. I mean, it's very, very yeah, good. Yeah, because normally we did uh, we did a review of a whole. Well, it was all beer, wasn't it? Yeah, like a, a calendar. Edmund. Was it 24 different ones? I, I think, think so. It was. I think it was like 24 different flavors from Aldi. And we did like... The advent calendar. Yeah, the advent calendar. And we did like four a day. I thought it was really fun. It was fun, try. but none of them were smooth or as nice no, as that. No, this is like the smoothest the beer yeah. we've had. If I was a beer drinker, I would definitely drink that. But I absolutely don't taste Hershey's chocolate at all. Or any chocolate. No, I don't either. Okay. Now, it's funny though. It pretty much still tastes like beer. It's just very smooth. Yeah. It, yeah, it's nice. I mean, like a Budweiser that still has a similar flavor as like a Budweiser, but it's smoother. It's smoother, Budweiser. yeah. It's just so this is I'm, the I'm not a drinker. Duchess Chocolate Cherry, yeah, and this, this is a Duchess Chocolate Cherry is a refreshing cherry L matured in oak casks and featuring 200 grams per liter of whole cherries mm. and natural chocolate aroma. Uh, so it's brew, uh, brewed for five generations, it says. Barrel aged when a touch isn't enough. So this is going to have, it says sweet, tart, and chocolatey. This is a Belgian beer. So there is, the cherries are going to be tart cherries. Well, hopefully we can taste anything beyond. Okay, it looks different. It's not as dark. And it has like a red, reddish kind of color to it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells good. It smells like cough syrup. I don't think it smells like cough syrup. 
I do think it's, it smells like cherry. Mm. But it's supposed to be tart. Sweet, tart, and chocolate. Okay. That tastes more like a wine than a, or a wine. Do you remember the old wine coolers? I like wine coolers. Now this used to, this is better quality than those because we're talking about wine coolers that were in like a little pouch. Um, this, I uh, like the flavor though of those <coughs> margarita wine coolers better yeah, than that. That's a very um, strong sour kind of flavor, uh -huh. almost like you've eaten sour candy. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, it's smooth though. I do have to say it doesn't look that burn. No, um, this, I looked it up because it, when Kevin was like, this one little bottle, $6.49, I looked it up. I went to that Total Wine mm -hmm. store. That's where they had a four pack for like 25 bucks. And um, there were comments, which I think is so interesting to read some of the comments. But somebody said, oh, that is so tart. I immediately threw away the whole bottle and it wasn't advertised as tart. Well, clearly it they didn't that. read it on, on the bottle because that person didn't read because it does say tart. And somebody else said it, it was exactly as advertised. It had a chocolate flavor. It had a tart cherry flavor. I don't get chocolate. I don't either. I, I don't. get that tart. I don't even know that I've identified as cherry. It's just tart. It's just tart. Yeah. So for me, this is a pass because mm -hmm. it, like where the yingling had a smoothness to it, this doesn't even have a smoothness to it. And this does, uh, it does taste more like a wine flavor than a beer flavor. And this is supposed to be a, a Belgian uh, a beer. And so it just, it, it, it does have more of a wine flavor to it. Mm. So I would rather get the $1.99 bottle yeah. over this expensive bottle. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's gonna appeal to some people because you'll like that tart. Because I didn't get a harshness at all. When I was drinking it, it was just as smooth as, as this one was. It's after. It's kind of, it's just the flavor it's really bitter. for me more than it, anything. It has a, to me, it has a bite yeah. to it at the end, I like agree. right now. And it tastes like you've had a glass of wine. Yeah. But if you like wine, if you're a wine drinker, kind of a sharp flavor. then you would probably enjoy this. Yeah. I haven't really found a wine that tickles my fancy yet. Yeah, I don't like that. I'd rather have like champagne than wine yeah. uh, between those two. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. The Yingling, the, the Hershey's chocolate, it's been out for a little while. So it's, it's new to us, but it's not like it's new. Right. Uh, we just could never get it in a single bottle before uh, because like Kroger sells it, I think in a four pack uh, all the time. But uh, this was the first time where it's like, okay, I've seen that single bottle. I'm going to get it this yeah. time. And it, but it doesn't taste like chocolate. No, it doesn't taste like Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> it just tastes like good beer. Right. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.